Swift. This one's for you, girl. You can catch me on the app, you can catch me on Brawl. You can catch me uptown, a chillin' at the mall. You can catch me on the app, you can catch me on Brawl. You can catch me uptown, a chillin' at the mall. I'ma put us on East Swift, East Swift, East Swift. I'ma put us on East Swift, East Swift, East Swift. I'ma put us on East the Urban Enterprise Zone in the city of Elizabeth has been a prime motivator in our ability to create economic development for our city and jobs for our residents. Without the Urban Enterprise Zone, the Jersey Gardens Mall would have never been built. The thriving business community on Morris Avenue, Broad Street, and Elizabeth Avenue, we'd probably see a lot of vacancies. The 3.5% sales tax that's charged to the customer is attractive for not only the residents of the city of Elizabeth, but people from surrounding communities can come here and do their shopping uh, for the holidays or for birthdays or for whatever special occasion may occur in one's family. The city of Elizabeth worked uh, with the U.S. Conference of Mayors. I was in Washington on numerous occasions where we worked with the Energy Secretary, Energy Secretary Chu, President Obama, and members of the Congress in order to get grants throughout the city of Elizabeth under what was called an Energy Block Grant. The city of Elizabeth achieved $1.2 million. We've used that money in order to uh, do green energy on our buildings. We have all of the municipal buildings currently under a solar plan where we're going to attract solar energy in order to make sure our buildings are updated for the 21st century. Jersey Gardens Mall has the largest rooftop uh, solar panels at one time on the East Coast. The Atalanta Corporation invested in solar energy and solar panels on their rooftop. We have residents and homes throughout the city of Elizabeth who have done solar energy on their buildings as well. And it's the movement of the future. It's to make sure that we can get cheap and clean energy to fuel the homes in order to heat the homes. And the city of Elizabeth is leading the way for a greener community throughout our county. You know, oftentimes I'm asked, how did I get to become the mayor of the city of Elizabeth? Uh, I was born and raised in the North Elizabeth part of our community. I attended Blessed Sacrament Church, went to Blessed Sacrament Grammar School, and then I was very active in the North Elizabeth Youth Baseball League. I was the president, I was a coach, and I handled a lot of activities while still being active in the church. And in 1982, a vacancy on the city council occurred. Uh, Gil Chapman, the first African-American member of the city council, chose not to run for re-election, so I threw my name in the hat. Uh, I and a lot of volunteers worked extremely hard in that election, and we were successful. And I stayed in the city council for 10 years while completing an undergraduate degree in economics at Kane College and then a master's degree in public administration. And to this day, I serve on the adjunct faculty at Kane by teaching Introduction to Public Administration. In 1992, I ran for the office of mayor against an incumbent mayor who was here for 28 years, Tom Dunn. It was a very feisty election, it was spirited, and we announced two different directions and plans for the city of Elizabeth. The voters chose my vision in 1992, and I've been here for the last 20 years working for the betterment of the citizens of our community. We did the Jersey Gardens Mall. Uh, we did Hope Six, which tore down Pioneer Homes in McGlory Manor. We're working on tearing down, and we already did one building at Oakwood Plaza. We hope to tear some other ones down there and create a new housing development over in that next uh, neighborhood in order to make sure that people have quality housing in which to live. And here in the city of Elizabeth, it's a constant evolving process. We're the fourth largest city with almost 125,000 residents. A influx of Hispanic residents have helped change the demographics of our community over the last 10 to 15 years, and they've changed it for the better in making sure that we have activity throughout our community. We make sure we have income and growth in our community. And as more people come in, we also push people to higher plateaus as well. So it's a great thing, the diversity of our community. The diversity is what makes the city of Elizabeth strong. I've lived in Elizabeth for 22 years. There's a lot of cultural 
diversity amongst the people here. Elizabeth is an like, interesting place to live. Uh, Elizabeth has its ups and downs. It's good points and it's bad. But I view Elizabeth as a pawn. People are, the people here are like tadpoles. And tadpoles eventually grow into frogs and leave the pond. But some frogs come back. Rock.